This is Roger Strukoff with Syscon TV. We're on day two already of Cloud Expo Silicon Valley in November of 2014. I'm sitting here with Dave Wagstaff. He's been ubiquitous here for the uh, first couple of days of the show. I've seen him everywhere in panels and speaking and talking to him, that sort of thing. So welcome. Thank you. Um, you've, you've had a couple of days to absorb it. Uh, tell everyone about what your company's all about and what your experience has been so far here at Cloud Expo. Fantastic. Uh, so I work for B Square, uh, and we are in the business of selling software and solutions for smart connected devices. Um, and the show has just been absolutely fabulous for us. Um, the quality of the leads, the, the con types of conversations we've had are just amazing. So we really appreciate that. And uh, I believe that we're going to have a lot of business that follows on with this, which is always good for us, and a lot of partnerships. You know, we um, <clears throat> have been doing this Cloud Expo. This is about the 15th iteration, mm -hmm. which means we go back seven or eight years. And we're going to talk about the Internet of Things this year. And we said, you know, let's wait till November. But then back in March, February, March, we said, no, we have to do it sooner. Yeah. So we had a little bit of IoT stuff at our show in New York in June. Now, here we are, a full-blown Things Expo that's sure. co-located yeah. with Cloud Expo. Three full tracks, lots of other special presentations. What kind of questions are you getting from people because i you may be surprised that people seem to really up to speed on they iot sure, they, they sure have and it's really around um they're asking more business related functions how do i make money at this how do i draw business around it obviously there's still uh, it's a tech show so there's a lot of folks asking around the technology behind it but it's always leads to well how do i actually draw a business from it so the discussion levels the um the titles of the folks I think I've been speaking to are, are, are a lot different than I thought I would have, right? They're, they're not just the engineers. There's the C-level uh, and V-level folks from the, from the business divisions of, of the company. So it's, it's obviously that we have moved IoT from being a technology to actually being a fundamental part of the business and understanding how that fits in, into play. It's happened so quickly. I mean, my sister, who's in the banking business, saw Internet of Things mm -hmm. commercials and ads and told, was talking to me about it. And, and I've seen a lot of technologies over the years and decades. They come. There's sort of this uh, skepticism and resistance, yep. even at shows like this. Uh, early days of Cloud Expo, most of our attendees were here going, what is cloud computing? Yeah. And I'm not so sure I like it. <laughs> and then gradually they completely embraced it you know, or converted and then started talking about business. But with the IoT, this is happen like really quick and it's a tipping function and I, I, I can't clearly articulate why but I agree with yeah. you I think it's in the last 18 months that really people have now understood that it really isn't technology it, there really is business behind it let's figure out how to do it um, and let's put some focus on it I think for, up until that point it was a scary topic right big yeah. data IOT it's kind of scary how do I take a bite of this big yeah. and there's a lot of risk associated with it I think there's enough use cases and stories now that people can say we made a modest investment and we had some amazing gains out of it that we want to now roll it out and people are now beginning to listen so the scariness factor has gone away. Well, and you, you actually got to the, the next question I was going to ask about use cases. So why don't you tell us one or two kind of interesting things that, you've, that you can talk about, Absolutely. things that you've done recently. Yeah, so um, interesting around understanding uh, behavior of customers. So the idea is these devices, besides containing all the sensor data that they normally have, also understand what your usage patterns are. Yeah. So uh, think of a coffee machine, right? It understands, it knows which coffee you drink, it knows how often you do it. But imagine if he could automatically make recommendations as to the next coffee, sell you some coupons. So there's an understanding now of the social media network of IoT, if you tie it in with these devices, and the non-traditional uses of them, where you're not only looking at sensors, you're looking at behavior, uh, sales patterns, and those kind of things. So the ability to integrate IoT into the business now is being better understood. Yeah, we were doing uh, covering big data, uh, I think it was two years ago. I remember I was sitting outside talking to people, and um, we, we have been covering big data here for a couple of years. But to be honest, the first year, it just kind of thunk, yes. sat there. Yes. And, but then suddenly with the IoT, it's just like this it was, it, it was a match. It was a match made in heaven in, in, in many regards. And, and the interesting thing is big data start, started with small data, right? So the, the, I, I think that's what scares people away. They think they have to have big data before you even can get into IoT, which is not at all true. And so I think we've demystified it and said, you know what, start where you're at and incrementally add for that. Have big visions, but start with something very small. And I think that's made it a little bit more palatable for folks to be able to do that. I've been talking to a company that's... that's that developing an application for let's just say a device mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this device reports 
once a minute or something, little 7K, 8K files. And when you only have one device or even a building full of them, it's not big data. However, when they scale up to 300,000 devices, you end up streaming through petabytes of data a year. But as you say, the, the, if you're just looking at one installation, it's not big data no, no and it's it's more i think a better term would be valuable data right it's yeah. it's 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 not that it's big that makes it valuable it's the fact that it contains something that you can draw some insight out of and you can draw a business against it. and i think this is the world we're in today this is why i think iot really and iot and big data and really they i think they do go together um is becoming something that it's going to be really a, a game changer here in the next uh next year or so yeah, that was going to be my, my, my last question was, let's look at the next year, maybe not so much more evolution at this point, but, but just a lot of development? Absolutely. I, if I look at my pipeline of, of uh, customers, uh, they're just starting their work in that, and they're looking at a 9- to 18-month design cycle. So these things won't hit the market for a little bit of time. But when they do, they'll be amazing, right? They'll be well thought out. They'll be uh, purpose-driven. There'll be some amazing stuff going on. So Senator Stevens was right. It's a series of tubes, right? Yes. And, and all the stuff is in a tube right here, and it's it's yeah. coming through. So look out. IoT is going to get only bigger, and the big data, whether it's little or big, is getting bigger no matter how you define it. Absolutely. And I think that will be enough of my thoughts on that subject. <laughs> we, we've been joined by Dave Wagstaff from B-Square. Thank you very much for coming by, and thank you for watching. For Syscon TV, this is Roger Struckoff.